All right, so it's about 11 o'clock on Wednesday. It is peeing down with rain, and I'm gonna ride to one of the highest roads in the UK. I think I've got everything sorted. Brand new, fresh jersey. Uh, but yeah, I've got a proper rain jacket because it is absolutely peeing down. But yeah, looking forward to it. 430 odd kilometers, mostly off-road. And yeah, let's hope we have a good one. So get the last things together and then get on the road. So I might as well talk you through the route. So this first section is quite a bit on road as I head towards Stirling and then to Menstry. A little bit of off-road at Menstry and then over to Comrie and then the real hard stuff comes. Off-road climbing as I head north all the way to Port Augustus and then I'm gonna start heading more west to the west coast. It's my final destination. Top of Vila Pnaba near Apple Cross. So yeah, savage route I think. Uh, today's weather isn't ideal, raining, but thankfully not too heavy. It's not cold, so. Yeah, enjoying myself so far. Remembering to eat, remembering to go nice and slowly and where we get to. And there's my view. I don't know if you can see this on my wahoo, but that's the elevation profile. And yeah, first hill of many. This route is pretty much all about the climbing and off-road, so yeah, it's gonna be slow going for a lot of it. But yeah, it's been over that thing behind me. Now we're heading over to Creef. I'm making my way towards Grief on some stunning back roads just through this kind of lush forest area. The rain is holding off which is great so I've managed to dry out over the last hour or so. Yeah, just enjoying myself, taking it easy, getting food in me. We should be in Grief half an hour now. And from there we head over to Glynn. Well good. Coming into Creef now, gonna grab a few things at the shop and keep pressing on. Let's go. Drink Creef on the way out now. Got some crisps, a few other bits and bobs, and then we're gonna be heading into the first main off road section. The 
that's pouring into you And so my friend, let me tell you once again And you know that it's true Forget about seeing it or hearing it In the end you must feel So that's Loch Tay behind me Oh I know Gave them a fright um, Yeah, just descended down into the valley Heading on to Clinton now Bit of road section now through Clinton, up over the Ben Lawrence climb into Bridge of Balgie, and then we'll be off road again. But damn boy, look at that view. You're A quick stop in Clean at the Corp. Didn't need much, just grabbed a pastry and some liquids and got back moving again. Um, yeah, still feel pretty loaded with food, as in the bike. Um, so I'm gonna be able to get all the way to Fort Augustus, because I need to, because there's no food stop for another 100 and something kilometers, so that's all good. So yeah, descending down, and then we're gonna turn left and up to the reservoir near Ben Lawrence, so a bit of a climb there. And then we might start looking for somewhere to sleep, but that's in a few hours. Bridge of Valgy and Glen Lyon now, Gunning Valley, but I'm going to be hopping north again soon, heading over north. Glen Lyon, all the way over to Loch Rannoch and Rannoch Station, so get this out of the way, and then it's a bit mellower for a while, over towards Lagan. good morale booster as I'm coming along into a bit of a headwind along uh, Loch, La Loch Rana to Bridge of Go. Yeah, nice to see the sky. Wow. So that's the way I'm going to be going in a little bit but first I'm going to go along to Rannoch Station which is the longest road and then back and um, check out, check out Rannoch Station. Sun's getting a wee bit lower now. It's still only 20 to 9, so still an hour or something of daylight left. But it's nice and dry. Is there any outbuildings or anything I could put my busy? Um, just so I don't get quite so much. My name's Cameron, so thank you very much. 
get in. Okay, so I'm locked out with this one. The woman who owns these also here at Lockhart Inn has said that I can sleep in one of these bunks, which is so much more than I asked for. But she said there's been no one been in here for weeks and there'll be no one in here for weeks after. And I'm gonna touch minimal things, so in terms of COVID, we should be pretty a okay. And oh my god, just being inside is amazing. Oh, amazing. What a lifesaver. That last section was pretty cool. So I'm just having some tea, which is a peanut butter and jam sandwich. Yeah, good day out. Um, just I've got some stuff up driving. And the owner said I could sleep on one of the bunks with uh, in my sleeping bag. So yeah, ideal situation really. Yeah, that last section was a bit grim. Coming over the moors, ran it, just in the clouds, just getting wet. Um, I had plan planned to kind of find an outbuilding or something, so that's why that's why I asked at the at the youth hostel. But she said it was fine to come in here. It's effectively private lodgings anyway because no one's been in here for months. Um, yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna get some sleep. I'll get this sandwich down me, and then see you again tomorrow. That was a definite luxury last night, being able to sleep on an actual bed and also dry some kit and stuff. Yeah, I was prepared to kind of be bibbing and everything, so I had everything I needed and I would have been fine, but because I covered so much ground yesterday, I was a lot further north than I had expected, so it just worked out that I was going past the hostel. I researched that obviously isn't open, open because of COVID, but the woman said that it was safe and she was very happy to, to just let me crash for a few hours and yeah very big thanks to her made this trip a lot more enjoyable which is nice and uh yeah i'm glad i was out with the midges just those few minutes getting packed up this morning in the midges was a bit uncomfortable but that's what i was expecting so i'm just on the shores of loch Ossian now as i'm heading north towards lagan so I've never done this section never done I'm pretty much all of this route and um, so yeah, I'll keep you updated. On the shore of Loch, uh, Loch Lagan. Uh, it's quite damp this morning. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty tired, but keep on plodding away. Going around this valley, around this loch, and then up the Corriere Path. Brown. Continuing along the shore of Loch Lagan past the big estate house on the south side and that means I'm on a road now as well. Which has got a nice change. So yeah, cruising along this, then we're going up for it. See behind me, on that hill over there, that's real life sunshine. Sun is shining on the ground. How mad is that? I wonder if it'll actually come over here. Anyway. That was just a little precursor hill to the kayak, which I'm descending down to now. Slugs 
gradient here is pretty steady, around 10%. Um, yeah, it's pretty technical. It's rough going. And there's these massive drainage ditches that are like full on drop offs on this bike. Worst is yet to come as we head up there into the clouds. I basically climbed into this massive bowl and it does not look like there's a way out, but I think it's up those pylons. That's going to be the savage bit. Right, jacket on, and long descent down to Fort Augustus. Go. Appearance for the first time in like a week, and I'm also rolling into Grandma for Augustus. Well, nice. Boom. So, yeah, I'm gonna stop here for a bit, grab some supplies, eat some food, plan out this next part of the trip because all the way to the finish, there's no resupply, and that's still like 150 k's away. So get in town and find the shop. So we're in Fort Augustus, the sun is out which is amazing. I might actually take my arm warmers off. Alright, there's Nessie. That's this is Neptune's ladder I think and the canal. Over there is Loch Ness. And this is my home. <laughs> so a big cake, some fruit for just now, nuts. Crisps, chocolate hobnobs, blue seed, iron brew. I might go back to the shop on my way out. I know how much I eat. I eat a bit now, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Sit in the sun and eat some food. this morning. Now being in just jersey shorts and overheating. Oh Scotland, probably like 22, 23 degrees so not mad hot but hot when you're going up the sun climb. So being in Tommy, well not really being in along Tommy. now I'm heading east again, head over to Glen Affric.
shot but out here in the middle of nowhere there's this you thought it's obviously shut but I don't know what they built this with I guess they drove all these materials up that road that I just went up that smart so yeah this route has a few hostels on it so in normal times without covid then this would be a yeah it's a good route so there just happened to be a walker walked by just then which is strange but we are we are so far in the wilderness uh, but he's local and I was just chatting to him about the, the options basically here I can fork left or right so I can either go up this valley here or this valley here this one kind of gradually climbs and then climbs quite a lot up to a saddle over there and then this one is slightly flatter and they both go to very similar places and I think the one on the left the easier one uh, is probably gonna be more suitable for my bike and energy levels right now because yeah I'm not like hanging but i have ridden two days non-stop basically so i'm feeling that in the legs and yeah it'll be a little bit off route i had planned to got the right one um but i'd say it'll take me out the same place and then from there i can see what type of route i want to take but yeah i think i should be able to get to the finish tonight my dad's gonna meet me there uh he's coming up tonight anyway to camp uh so it doesn't really matter if i make it tonight or not still need to get off of these amazing mountains blue sky behind me that cloud is lifting cheers Ideal to get some more biscuits down me, reload my chain, and get on the road. This is tough going. not going to get any easier for a while because the track runs to single track and through this valley so yeah I hope I think we're starting to go downhill pushing on struggle it's giving out to me it's it's pretty special i put my jacket on though because i'm getting my off it's pretty hard going it's got to the point where the descents aren't really a rest anymore because they're, they're so technical but yeah this is why i came here though stuff like this just total unknown and finding little gems like this this isn't a gem this is like the whole world I don't know it's just amazing and I wouldn't have found it if I hadn't just gone right I'm gonna ride yeah like it's not this isn't a recognized route like I was on the Badger Divide for quite a bit of it which is recognized as a gravel route but people have mountain biked this for sure but no one's ridden here from from near Edinburgh like in a water and yeah I wouldn't have come across this if I hadn't if I hadn't tried and yeah there's a sick water from down there in that valley and just yeah definitely the tempo has gone down quite a bit it's a lot slower and just methodically going through things so it's nice just I'm just enjoying it and I know I'm not too far from the finish so I should be able to get there by, by nightfall yeah this was around totally different game to my day today which is wake up eat food, train really hard, and then lie about and recover for the next day. This is totally different. That's almost like, yeah, it's just a different game. This is so mental. It takes a lot of mental resilience to deal with all these little things. And um, yeah, 
variety is really what I've learned from this from this uh, this summer is that variety is what makes me keep enjoying it doing doing lots of different things but all with this one goal towards being a better bike rider and hey if this doesn't make you a better bike rider then I don't know what does this is the hardest terrain I've ever ridden my bike across and yeah just, yeah it's awesome it's awesome right let's get on with plodding along this little single track Man, that was so hard. Man, crazy. Of the sea lock, the sun's about to dip behind the clouds. Still got a few hours of daylight, and um, yeah, just horrible. Little pickers. and then I'm gonna be tackling the final climb up the bay off the bar. Here we go, be off the bar. Okay, the bottom of this thing. Now I just need to get up it. Easy. Riding and let's go to the 
the thing off the bar. That was tough. That was really tough. Mostly off-road. Good for a view like that.